guys, I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat, my new favorite monitor. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Audible. Okay, as you guys know, here at the Geek House, we have a lot of monitors. Like, every desk has multiple monitors, except for Carter. Carter, you don't have multiple monitors. Huh. Yeah, I'm slumming. May need to fix that with one of these, the AOC 17 inch USB monitor. Okay, I have been using AOC USB monitors for, I don't know, like four years or something uh, since they came out and I love them. Now, there were some previous issues which I've discussed with you guys before um, on some of the older versions but I got this one in recently and it's USB 3.0 and it hasn't had a single issue. I love this thing because as you can see, it is super lightweight, super thin, and you just yank out the USB monitor and fold it down and it becomes extremely portable. So it'll go inside my Tilt Energy backpack uh, I can just take it with me when I go to trips or I can take it home if I need to work on a big project at night because uh, you guys know how much I love to, to work like 24-7. Anyway, <laughs> um, so this just sits here on my desk and I have it actually plugged in to the back of my cinema display, my uh, Apple cinema display here, but you could just plug it straight into your computer. I do that because I typically just leave it right here. Um, now, one thing that is new with these, these uh, new monitors, this, the 17 inch version, is the Visa mounts. So it doesn't have to be portable. If you don't want it to be, you could, connect it to an arm, like this Ergotron monitor mount that I have with my cinema display here. Uh, so you could do whatever you want. You can make it portable, you can make it stable, and just there permanently, whatever you want. Uh, the other thing, I don't know if you noticed back here, but it has an aluminum stand here, and it won't just do uh, you know, landscape, it'll also do portrait mode. Now you may be wondering like, how, how can you use that? Well, all you have to do is go here. I'm gonna turn it back to landscape so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, just open up your display preferences, go to display, and you just switch that over. Voila. And you can work on a document, you can work on presentation, you can do, like I can make this chat room, the IRC chat room, 24 seven, big and beautiful. Um, <laughs> so the uh, other thing I like is that you can adjust the, the viewing angle yeah. and it doesn't require any kind of trick or anything like that. So if you want it kind of more standing up straight, you just do that and see this little lip right here? That helps it be secure and not kind of fall over with even, even a slight push if you touch the monitor, not that it's a touch screen, but you know, I like to touch my monitors. As you can probably, hey, hey, those are, I, I like only my fingerprints. My fingerprints only. Mine are prettier. Whoosh! <laughs> um, anyway, so it is, like I said, USB 3.0, so you're getting power and signal through that. It's 1600 by 900 resolution with a 10 millisecond response time. Uh, you are going to need to download the DisplayLink plugin in order to use the monitor. So any of these AOC USB monitors, you would want to download, you have to download that plugin in order for it to work. But once you do, bam, it's plug and play. It is ready to go. It's $199. So if you're looking for something that you can be portable with and take on business trips or take home and back and forth between home and work, um, or just looking for a good, clean, beautiful monitor, this thing I really enjoy and I really don't want to send it back. You hear that AOC? <clears throat> um, <laughs> anyway, that's become part of my permanent setup. Uh, so you guys leave a comment below uh, if you have any questions or thoughts or have one yourself. I want to hear them. And while you're setting up 
your AOC monitor, you can listen to an audible podcast, a book, whatever you want. They have over a hundred thousand titles to choose from. So you could listen to something about robots or the holidays. They have everything. You can get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeats. All right, I'm Callie Lewis. I'm out of here. Thumbs up on youtube.com slash geekbeatv. So if you got them, bye. You can pick up a zombie apocalypse survival kit in a sardine can for nine bucks. This is just a stick that plugs into a USB port. It's fire TV. And philosophy okay. is like the most unscientific creation of mankind ever. Let's face it.